All right, wife wants me to go out and get a purple onion from Safeway. So what does that mean? Good wolf, quick fix time. Bring you guys with me. Oh, what have we got here? Let's see, PlayStation 2. Ooh, we got Transworld Surf, which I have for the GameCube. It used to be an expensive game. I don't know what happened to it. It was like price trading decided to take a huge dump on its face. I don't understand what's going on with that. Ooh, some more PS2, Guitar Hero, sports games, more sports games, more sports games. Oh, did I miss? Oh, look. Oh, sweet sports game. <laughs> awesome. Let's go over here. Oh, I see a Wii game just laying there all lonesome. Let's see what it is. All-Star Cheer Squad. Holy moly. That reminds me of the days that I was going to be on the Cheer Squad back in high school. And then I got exterminated. Oh, I got exterminated from the Cheer Squad. Holy moly. It's actually a pretty good survival horror game. Too bad it's not a cross-platform genre. Got some PS1 games over here. Ooh, pro Pinball. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Ridge Racer. I can see Ridge Racer right there. That was a fun game back in the day. Too bad it's Greatest Hits. Why am I finding so many Greatest Hits? All the good stuff's always Greatest Hits. It's like they sold more Greatest Hits after they hit so many sales than they did Black Label. I don't understand. Siphon Filter 2. Greatest Hits. Gotta love that green label. Driver 2. Greatest Hits. Gotta love the green label. Look, I'm Jay from the Game Chasers. <laughs> All right, well, Goodwill was a total bust. I didn't find a freaking thing that I wanted in there. Um, I mean, there was a couple things, but they weren't worth anything. I didn't want them. I mean, you know, you know how game chasing go. But uh, I gotta run up to Kmart real quick, right next door, to just try to find some of those little uh, finger socket plugs, because apparently my son has just figured out that he wants to start trying to stick his finger in them. So we're gonna go ahead and block them all off. Then you guys are coming with me to get a red onion. And I'm going to show you a mail time real quick. So let's go. Plug guards? Check. Onion? You're next. Onion. Let's go home and let's see what I got in the mail today. So let's get in the game room. All right, guys. So we had quite a few days worth of good mail time, and I just wanted to share it with you. First off, <clears throat> well, I'll just show you the one thing I got from Goodwill real quick, because it's only one thing. We got Animal Crossing. Picked this up for three bucks. Complete, great shape. Probably keep that one. I'm trying to build up my Wii collection a little bit. I only got two games so far. Donkey Kong Country Returns and uh, the new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Um, I had some more, but I traded them all in, like I said, to get all that retro stuff. From eBay, we picked up Shooting Range. Super clean and complete in box. This was like $12 shipped. I want to bet on that one. Another one we got Rival Turf. If you haven't played this game, this is a fantastic game. Don't let the cover fool you. It looks like a crappy game just by the cover, but it's actually really good. Got this for $15 shipped. Um, it was a good enough game that I was willing to get it complete in box. And then the next one is super rare. Anybody that collects for Super Nintendo knows how rare this game is. 
I ended up finding it complete in box. Boom, home improvement, complete in box. Uh, I had to sell some stuff to get that one. That was about $56 shipped after everything, um, which is not horribly bad. Uh, it's valued at $40 price trading, but there's only roughly 10 sales a year complete in box. So that's not a whole lot to go off of. That just shows you how rare it is. And also, we got this from AliExpress. Now, don't hate me. I got this color for a reason, but I got a little Samson. Uh, it's a repo cart. Now, as you can see on the... They try to make the sticker as realistic as possible. Um, and the reason I got the red cart is because I don't want a game that's passed off as like an legit copy. So I wanted one that actually looks and you can determine that it's a, a repo copy. So that's why I got red. This was $15 shipped from China. And then the last one, um, somebody, Retro K Hunter is the one who made me want this. I've been looking for it for a long time. Couldn't find it. Found a bid. Ended up winning it. We got Zelda Four Swords. Now, you might ask, okay, you know, we all have that game. But this is the box. The box is what's hard to come by. It comes with the cable, which is still in the plastic, never open. And then it comes with the game, which is still sealed. Um, so I don't really care. I want, I didn't want this used because I want to play it. So I might sell this and then buy it used. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, it all depends on when I want to go, when I actually want to play it and whatnot. So, so those are my mail time pickups, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed for this little quick fix adventure. Until next time, guys, keep retro gaming alive, people!